Hello guys, welcome back to another one. This was our first try at the FI race at Blue Moon in the manufacturer's GR3 in the sexy green and black Guinness slavery number 10 on the door, so a top 10. And we'll be happy to see Adam also in this race behind us. I believe Harry was in this race also. As well as, I do believe Mr. Blue, I think Mr. Blue was in this one. I'll jump on board. The library, of course, coming from Mr. Kirk. Kirk, thank you very much, sir. And nice and easy around the first corner on cold, hard tyres. I do believe somewhere in this race we may have Mr. Blue. If I'm remembering correctly. And this was all about fuel saving. The tyres didn't really matter that much. And I do believe now that perhaps the Jag is not, the GR3 Jag is not particularly good with fuel saving. Because I felt like I fuel saved the shit right out of right out of this when I came in for my pit I did believe I had they've done a lot better but the guys out front seemed to always open up a gap at the pit stop so I believe there must be other cars that were much much better on the fuel making it for a much shorter pit stop able to open up the gap on us <clears throat> you can't see the fuel mixture at the moment but we are frequently above three sometimes right down to six in the fuel mixture always short shifting let's try and get a nose to the inside of Mr. Test And the inside, we're lifting, we're coasting, just trying to see if you'll the whole way around there and back up into six. And as I say, while we were sitting here, as soon as we started catching any cars at all, we were immediately in the fuel mixture three or four. And there we have Mr. Blue, who just made her way past. So this is indeed the one with Mr. Blue in it. As we have to hit the brakes there slightly, but up into the top 10. <coughs> We shall skip parts of this race as soon as we can, as soon as there's not an immediate battle, we will skip. There's nothing really been done here, we're all in the slipstream, no one can go anywhere. Again. Quite fun, these races. I would imagine there's there's people who would do these races and nothing else. They just kind of know the strategy and stuff in these particular races. Again, lifting off, staying out of trouble, and just staying in the slipstream. I will get a wee bump there from Mr. Blue. We actually thought. Maybe that's in way of a, a, an apology, and he does a some clean driving there. I 
And again, we're just staying out of trouble. We don't want to go down there and get involved in anything at all. And lift them, coast them. And then go up and nudge, trap them back there. Down to 14th, nudge down to the outside. Barrier. But we are still in the slipstream, but we're feeling like the initial group had broken us away. So our, our fight was this bunch here that we were in, could we get ourselves up in the top 10? <clears throat> and there's still plenty in this group. Again. I felt like I, I could not have saved any more fuel than what I did. I have I would look at some of the outside views because they are lovely views to see all the cars. You can see really close racing, a totally different style of racing altogether. A lot more about being smart and not not fighting. All, all about trying to keep that fuel for the big push for the finish line in the last one or two laps and again we're trying to squeeze our way back up there we'll jump back on board we're almost into the top 10 now again and we have a slipstream here And fold it in. We'll do some skipping. And again, we'll continue with the skip. It is a, a, a pretty repetitive race. I wouldn't imagine these replays go down too well with views. On this kind of track, but as I say, they're they're very fun. Any time I have had a wee race at them, apart from my first three or four, my first three or four races, I've done it all wrong. I had no fuel, and all stuff. But once you, you do get a bit of an idea, we perhaps should have came in to the pits there, but we did have another guy who's still out here with us. So I thought to ourselves, well, at least we're not totally on our own. There's a few of us have remained out. And as I say, I had saved plenty of fuel. We could have done more laps and stayed out for longer. Mr. Blue, oh my just about, he has run out of fuel or it looks on the way into the pits for a stop and the Jaguar guys in the green, absolutely stunning gear these Jag guys have. I just sit there admiring the lovely livery from Mr. Turk. And it's go, go, go. And again, looking back out. <coughs> And we just don't feel we stayed in. We overfueled so as we could push hard in the second stint. And I don't know what it, what it is, but um, it's hard to get these races just right. The Jag has to has to have been very poor on its fuel 
If someone tells me that the GR3 Jag is a good at fuel saving, I, I'm going to be slightly annoyed because I should have had a much better result then. But as I say, in the pit stops, I definitely lost lost time as if other guys had saved fuel better than me. And we'll give Mr. Zurich a wee nudge to let him know we're not coming forward. Let's work as a team and try and get back into the battle here. And after pushing for a couple of laps, it's very easy to lose all, all that advantage of the fuel. You find if you, as soon as you start thinking, right, I've added extra fuel, I can push now, you go out and you forget about your fuel for three or four laps and then when you look back at it you're very surprised at how much fuel you, you have remaining you usually have to go back into fuel saving mode it, it doesn't take much, many laps in a row of pushing hard and revving the car out for it to change <coughs> I think for me I usually work it out and I don't have that much experience so I know I'm wrong the percentage seems to be the way most guys go to know exactly what to have but um, I feel like if I push I usually use 0.8 or 1.2 laps of fuel and when a fuel save a whole lot I can use about 0.8 so I, if I get down to the last two or three laps of the race I know 2.4 with two laps to go or 3.6 allows me to kind of start to rev the car out And we'll skip while we're just sitting here at the back of this group and nothing's going on. I think very hard to make these replays into an exciting race. I'm sure you probably would have liked a bit more skipping. We shall skip. Let me see, it's all getting a bit bunched now. <coughs> you see, Mr. Blue here, something must happen with Mr. Blue. Someone makes a move on him. And again, after doing a, a, full, a full race, basically. Driving fine. He has just... His anger has kind of lost him the plot for sure if the penalties come back on we should not be seeing Mr. Blue too much because he he won't have an S an S rated rank if he keeps driving the way he drives if he keeps on raging You can see we're still in the battle, coming around the last lap, we're in the battle for a top 10, it's there for us. I think, is this where Mr. Blue got upset? And yet you can see the guy, so he was upset with Mr. Zurich. And let's jump on board now with Mr. Blue, and as he starts his last lap, we can see. He's actually got the wrong guy. He has got the wrong guy there yet again. Am I correct in thinking that? So, Mr. Zurich, here we go. So, we're coming around here. He's going defensive. No one really should sneak up there, but he does manage. Mr. Zurich 
has, has squeezed him and galloped me inside. So, so for me, he wants to take out Mr. Mr. Surridge now. But he has eyes. This other guy must have upset him at a different point of the race. Because he's just, he did, that is a very small gap today between the, ourselves and the other guy. Are very, very lucky there not to be collected and taken out. Um, Mr. Blue did say that um, we thought he raged quit. He did say that he didn't. He stayed in. But um, we'll skip back as well to the start of that lap and we'll show you. You've seen the end of our lap there, basically. Let's go and show you Mr. Harry, a regular in our lobbies. Harry was in the race for the victory on the last lap and he gets a bit unlucky you'll see here as Harry's coming up to be fair to this guy in the white he does look like he's per he is perhaps trying to get out of the way but he's out of fuel he's out of fuel and he's he's just I'm not sure if he's trying to get pushed to the finish line or if he's just out of fuel and trying to survive and hope he doesn't get put into a spin. But if it wasn't for that, Harry was in with the shout of the win. And look at how close this is over the finish line with these three guys. Absolutely brilliant. And we'll go back to ourselves. Where are we getting over the line? We're coming home now. And we'll sneak up to 12th. We'll get by the guy who run out of fuel. Another video guys, thank you, catch you next time.